I first saw Jordan Wolfson's 2011 film, Animation Masks, displayed in a dark room on the floor of a gallery in the Art Institute of Chicago. I was hooked to the character, stunned by how engaged I was, and perplexed by the complexity and dimensionality of the being on the screen. I didn't know what it meant, I didn't know what it was, I didn't know who made it, but I knew in that moment when watching it, that whoever made it was clearly onto something. Let us go through some rapid fire symbolism. The continuous background change is representative of instability in relationship, whether it be with self or with another. Distance is animated by low quality, pixelated digital backgrounds where a misunderstanding of self is present. Juxtaposition is shown in these elements. There is no sensual or inviting bedroom like the idea of a bedroom is, only clothes scattered and a mess made. While the idea of a kitchen is not sensual or inviting, it is perfectly clean, empty, and ready for a visitor. At one of the most sexual moments within the film, a background of a dark alley with trash bags decorates the scene. The sexual narrative is numbing. Gun hand gestures oversaturate the piece and toss meaning into oblivion. The lack of female character permits intimacy with the viewer, where they are welcome to take on the role and feel the discomfort of entering such a narrative without context. The notion of without context reiterates the focus on the film of identity and what is left when societal cues are non-existent. Love poem. It's so nice to wake up in the morning all alone and not have to tell somebody you love them when you don't love them anymore. The sound design of animated masks can be described as isolationistic. Throughout the film, a desolate room is heard. This mundanity is used by means of isolating the character, conversation, imagery, and environment. This is especially notable a little over halfway through the film when a frontal shot cuts to an over-the-head angle looking down upon the character, flipping through a Vogue magazine. Not only does the poetry come to a conclusion, but all dialogue does, and the empty room is heard again. When the character, conversation, and environment stops changing, only the imagery is left to, and thus the viewer focuses on such elements. The Vogue catalog is both a symbol for commercialism and elitism. This elitism is inextricably linked to race, as nearly all figures shown are white models. The only exception occurs when a mixed woman shows up wearing a military green coat. The character proceeds to flip through the other pictures and hers, obviously stating a societal comparison as is implied by the character's general representation of society. While here the imagery implies meaning, a later transition leads elsewhere. In the final moments of the film, the viewer is led to follow character movement and soundtrack. The character continues to flip through the pages, but maintains eye contact. Charles Trenet's La Mier plays in the background. He keeps staring. Society is not judging the models anymore, it is judging you. A bomb shows. This judgment is as destructive and violent as ever. What does this say about the society and culture that surrounds us? You see, Jordan Wolfson is a cultural spectator. He views, examines, digests, and redistributes the world we live in. Much of his work, such as Wolfson's virtual reality piece in the 2017 Whitney Biennial, puts violence on display. This can be construed as critical or negative, but the artist takes on a more objective approach. The intention is a positive one. All the works have very positive intentions behind them. They're not about hatred, and they don't propagate hatred. I think they're about witnessing culture. It's like, I consider myself a witness to culture and not a judge. When a film like this is studied within the context of narrative-driven short film, it is necessary to state that the artist is not interested in creating or transmitting meaning through the work. Artists work by much more organic means, through intuitive processes. The meaning of an artist's work is revealed through the entire body of work, the ideas coming to alignment over time and not the single pieces. Art takes time to reveal itself. In Animation Masks, a stereotypical Hasidic Jewish man transitions between characters while he maintains the same physical form. He is startlingly realistic as he demands a presence. Even when the gallery may be empty, and the sound of a desolate office void is heard, the viewer is not alone. 
computer-generated imagery brings a certain versatility and flexibility to the character in the film. Animation offers the opportunity for the character's fluid transformation, morphing between states, attitudes, and actions. Ultimately, animation allows creators total control of the product they create. Despite this, animation is an elitist medium because of the skill, expertise, and technology required to create it. With this in mind, Jordan Wolfson's film is particularly elitist as he used Hollywood animators to create the film. In many ways, this is the continued proliferation of the power of mega galleries. Wolfson is represented by David Zwerner and Sadie Coles, and the resources and creations that are enabled and activated by such establishments. Through much of this work, a physicality and verbiage demands attention. Maybe the clear lack of context permits such heartfelt sympathy while still promoting an anger towards the actions committed. Vague sexual narratives cut to the deepest levels of primal, superficial humanity. The universal narrative of lost love brings out the lover in all of us, and the implied violence provokes an anger in the why of violent action. Perhaps Bruce Nauman said it best. My work is basically an outgrowth of the anger I feel about the human condition. The aspects of it that make me angry are our capacity for cruelty and the ability people have to ignore situations they don't like. Jordan Wolfson soaks all additional elements out of his film, leaving only what he wants the viewer to see, understand, contextualize, and reflect on. When homogeneous physical forms are left, and only their actions and words can define them, appearance is no longer an identifying characteristic. Stereotype dissolves when it is destroyed. Juxtaposition brings about polarity and emphasis, and evolution between nuances becomes increasingly poignant. Jordan Wolfson's animation masks simulates a microcosm of society where identity politics demand discourse and action, where identity is not accessory, but being.